as we go on to the lower bracket final, everybody. Friday's rematch. We started this on Friday, and this is where the two players started this run as well. Happy eliminating Craft and Labyrinth, Hawk eliminating Chemico and Colorful, and then two maps in a row versus Happy as well. Today, not too much of a chance in this best of five versus Focus. Focus rock solid. And happy also, rock solid in the lower bracket. He was thrown down to lower bracket round four, defeated Sock 2 0, defeated Lawlier 2 0. Is he getting a little bit exhausted, maybe, of three series in a row? Don't really think so. If you stream eight hours a day, then uh, three maps should be fine. But of course, need a little bit more concentration. You need to be at your very, very A game to defeat the best players in the world. Two Koreans in a row. One Korean is waiting in the grand final. That is Focus. And who's gonna challenge him? Another best of three to determine his opponent for the gold medal for the War 3 Champions Championship. I'm, I'm feeling it, man. This, this feels different than your usual Monday ESL Open Cup final. This is still a best I'm of three. And you only need two maps. And not three. I have, a, I have a lot of confidence in Hawk right now, weirdly. I have a lot of confidence in him. Generally, like I'm like, oh, you know, Hawk's given up. I've given up. He's got no chance. Right now, I'm like, yeah, I mean, he showed he could do it. He played, it's like he played really solid. It only took a couple of errors from Happy, and he was able to do it. Like, I feel good for Hawk. Definitely Happy's the favorite, and Happy's playing very well today, but yeah, I'm feeling good for Hawk. I really hope Hawk is in shape as he was on Friday and got this momentum that he needs against Happy, that he doesn't feel so lost anymore, that he knows it's possible. He started to see the Matrix there on this very day. But okay, we've been there before. x has taken a best of three off of Happy at a dream hack, and then in the end, when it really matters in the playoffs, Happy was just there. There, just like our supporters here. More subs coming in. Thank you, Mr. Mayhem, for the sub. Exanolan for the 44 month resub. Stay hydrated, my friends. Absolutely. Absolutely staying hydrated here. Uh, Stumpf with the prime sub and rookie 14 month. War 3 Champions finals are awesome. And that is an awesome shirt, Remo. Thank you very much, my man. Thank you all so much for the support. Wubba lubba dub dub! Let's get ready, boys! The second last game of the tournament. Who's gonna meet Focus in the grand final? It is the rematch. Happy and Hawk going up against each other once again. Hawk was able to win in the upper bracket. The most sensational win for him in a long time. It was absolutely spectacular. He wasn't able to make his run perfect by beating Focus quite. That game he did lose, but he has a second chance now. And this is really interesting to me. Happy is not a player who is used to losing at all. But as I like to say, you always learn most from your losses. And now, it's going to be really interesting to see how Happy is going to adjust and is uh, going to improve having learned from those losses. Yeah, that's an interesting point about Happy. He's like, he's obviously a world champion. He's one of the top players of all time. But one thing he doesn't have a ton of experience in is is losing. And, you know, he's he's come back. He's done reverse sweeps in the past and stuff like that. But, you know, in a single tournament, he's normally not making losers runs. He's normally just making it straight to the grand finals, not dropping a map, winning. So this is, you know, relatively new for Happy to to feel what it's like to, to go through the loser's bracket to have the pressure on you of I can only lose one series and then I'm out of this tournament. So, you know, it's new. That's maybe the one thing he needs a little bit more experience in at times, but uh, we'll, we'll see today. We'll attack. see today if it, it has him shook at all. That'd be nice. Imagine if your biggest problem is <laughs> that you win all the time. Yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> Must be quite the life uh, if you have that sort of privilege. All right, Hawk, what are we seeing here? I would imagine it's going to be the same opening, the same build as was the case two days ago. Green into Expo. It can be problematic if the DK shows up, Peasant's dying, and you don't manage to creep further. Not getting that level 3 on the Archmage could be a big pain, but usually Hawk always seems to be able to get that one. Happy. Moving across the map already, not creeping the second green camp before Harass, which is a bit unusual. So he wants to arrive way earlier this time, trying to ideally steal some last hits here, but the big boys are already gone. 
Yeah, interesting. Happy gets a, a ring. That's new. And he also lost a skelly to the creeps, Remo Demo. He messed up his creeps a little bit. I mean, that's uh, that's actually unbelievable. You oh think my that god. You know, did you see that? Did you see that, Neo? Happy's in, Happy's in the slump. Jesus. <laughs> This a couple peasants, though, almost saves it into the gold mine. But a footman and a peasant is acceptable. Oh, Claus plus nine, by the way. My god. Is it Hawk's Day? Claus plus nine and a circlet? Happy gets a ring? Happy loses a skeleton to creeps? I don't know. Might be the day. And this perfect items for Hawk. Absolutely tremendous start. One peasant went down, whatever, and Happy kind of free ball in it with this opening. It didn't creep level two first. He ran across the map in hopes of being able to steal last hits, but he was too late for that. So it seems like his homework perhaps wasn't ideal and he didn't figure out the timings perfectly. Now has to fall back, now has to creep, and it's the sag duo of items over here. Cloak plus ring for happy. And look at the items for the Archmage, my man. Oh my god, he can go get claws if he wanted to too. I'm surprised he went just straight to the shop and bought a circlet when he could have gone to the marketplace and maybe checked for another claws there. But I suppose he wanted to hit the timing to be a little bit quicker. Yeah, this is just tremendous for Hawk currently. He's lost only one peasant so far. And he's even building with six, so his expansion is going to be super early. He's not mismacroing his peasants in his main base. This is going to be as clean of a game as he had previously on Northern Isles. Yeah, looking really good so far. Need to start the tech here soon. I think he neglected to make some peasants in the main. The peasant count there is still really low on lumber. Only four. Seems like that's the first mistake for Hawk this game. Not making enough there in the main base, but still going to progress towards your two here soon. As we have the new donation coming in, my style with the 1337 says, uh, let's collect some tips for those awesome dudes providing high quality content of the game we all love. Thank you very much, my man. Much appreciated. Also, Gary with a 10 month reset is my favorite. Use of a weekend is Watch Warcraft 3. I think that is the case for all of us, my friend. As also, the Archmage now finally gets to level 3. Got at the green camp. Saved his mana, by the way. Didn't summon a Watch Elemental. Waited for that level 3. I do appreciate that bit of efficiency. As Happy now is looking to be aggressive. And this time, Hawk is not in position to go for the counterattack, the run by right away. Gonna have to go back to the expansion here. To defend the peasants. I think he's fine to defend here though. His Archmage just bought boots, is super strong, even with some more attack speed with the slippers of agility. He's gonna lose some peasants here, yes, but I think he, he's fine with defending right now. Yeah, the one thing that might hurt him is that, that the peasant count in the main base, and he's losing some of the expansion right now, so the lumber could back to bite could come back to bite him in the future. But for now, he's probably happy to be able to get some right clicks with his Archmage. Looks fun. Looks fun to have this hero. Yeah, this old guy on the horse, you wouldn't think of it when looking at him at first glance, but he does pack quite the punch. Shout out to Todd. As defense is coming in. At a very good timing. You want to have that at the time that the Lich comes out, ideally, because then footman lives are going to be threatened quite a bit more with a Nova Fox fire coming in. Archmage eats that first Nova, but still healthy enough. Those double circlets, those plus one HP, do make a difference. Yeah, the shop's underway as well as the blacksmith with the expansion now, too. And there's no level 3 for Happy. He's going to have to probably creep a little bit. Because he does like to have that level 3 as early as he can in most cases, which normally his harass goes a little bit better. He's going to get that water elemental there. But uh, as soon as the shop is up, the Archmage is going to be as healthy as he once was. And there's plenty of defended footmen still to defend the fiends. And without level 2 coil, without any mana for coil as well, this is going to be difficult for Happy to get much done. Yeah, this is not the usual early game. Normally Happy finds tons of kills early, seemingly has the perfect movement, perfect harass. This time, I'm sure in Hawk's mind, he's also thinking, oh my god, this early game went way better than I thought it would. Happy here, misstepping a bit early, and this matchup is just so volatile. It's crazy, the ripple effect that every move in the early game has. And Hawk is absolutely looking to be in a good position. With just a handful of footies, he's pushing back this Undead Force fairly easily, waiting for his tech to finish. But again, the Tier 2 wasn't that fast, so this MK is delayed, and so is Tier 3. Yeah, this could be a position where Hawk overcommits with the Footman. He's thinking, oh my god, oh my god, I'm in a good spot, I can get something done, I've got the army to defend. But maybe he could overcommit some Footman. He's trying to put some damage on the statues with the Water Elementals. You love to see it, but... Fighting before his Mountain King is here could cost him a few too many footmen, and Happy's about to be level 3. If he can get, I think, uh, two more footmen kills, he will get level 3. 
So for now, maybe Hawk overcommitting slightly, but he's certainly buying a lot of time for himself. His tier three is underway. He's uh, continuing the Sim City at the expansion, even getting a workshop now. And now he backs away. I think that was pretty well in time, but he gives level three to the Death Knight while well, he's retreating with that water elemental. So Happy's probably relatively happy with that exchange. Yeah, so is Hawk. I like the early workshop. Going for those gyros right away. Double racks, double workshop. That's what I want to see. Mass, knights, gyros. That's the best way at dealing with this, uh, to deal with this under tier three push. Later on, if we do see a Banshee transition, it might run into issues, but then there should be a transition from the human upon seeing that later on. And that's the question here, I think, the big one for the late game. Happy, is he gonna go Banshees this time? In their previous encounter, he refused to go for them, but maybe this time he will. It's a Boots of Health Laws. Happy's gotten awful items this game, I'm afraid to say, but um, he does have the tier three. He's got the Tri Hero. He goes for the Pit Lord. Four towers almost up. Only a single Arcane, though, and it's a little bit out of position for Hawk. He went for Triple Guard Tower. Maybe a little bit unorthodox, but the workshop seemed to be the focus. We saw Todd actually having his workshops caught out of position, and this time one of two for Hawk is going to be caught out. He's trying to get it up and forced him to cancel. That means not a lot of flying machines. He might not need a ton, however. The Mountain King getting a lot of experience, though, and a greater mana. The Mountain King's almost level 3, Remo Demo. Yeah, that's pretty sick. The timing there was so tight, man. It was only a couple of seconds, like two or three more seconds, and that workshop would have been finished, and that makes a big difference. That now means getting the necessary gyro count up is going to be a lot harder. But the Pit Lord expanded a lot of his mana, so taking out these towers is going to be more difficult now for Happy. He's going to go in regardless. Arcane Tower burn, not really too relevant right now. And this MK, if he gets one more kill, just one more kill for the level 3. He's gonna get it right here too. Oh my god, he's got so many storm bolts. Yeah, Happy has to teleport away. I was gonna say that. And he might even lose another fiend. He kills. Yeah, he does lose a second fiend. He kills the towers, but Hawk holds on tremendously. That is the timing. And Happy doesn't look too strong at all. Is Hawk pulling ahead now? It, he was ahead before, of course, but pulling even more ahead. Yeah, this is looking really good for Hawk right now. Finally, he has arrived on Castle, taking him pump out those knights now, which is what he needs. And Happy has a slim window here. He can creep two more camps, the Tuscar and the Lab, and then he has to go. And then he has to all in. That's it. This is this is it. There's no more time left. In two or three minutes, Hawk is going to be too strong, have too large of an army, and Happy won't have a chance anymore. So, the Undead under the gun right now. Yeah, I think Hawk showing the, the exact reason why maybe it's not the best idea to go for that Tuscar with the Archmage right away. Save it for the Mountain King. The Mountain King was 2.99 in holding that timing. That is so unorthodox. Normally, you're barely holding on with a zero experience Mountain King. But he's already level 3, and the Paladin's about to be out now, too. The Lumber is still a little bit lacking, I think, due to that workshop being cancelled and being power built for so long and not going up. And now he's going to need a little bit more Lumber. The Knights aren't actually being produced because... A little bit of a supply block currently, but the farm will soon be completed. And Happy chooses to creep the red as a third camp before pushing, but he's still going to have the strong timing with those. He got the two best items possible from these two creep camps. Oh, coming in for the creep. Jag, the driver's trying to take out the destroyers right away. Getting healed for now. Big mana potion was committed, but the destroyer does go down. A lot more experience now for Hawk. The DK surrounded. Almost. Might be going down the next storm bolt. Hawk gonna get his it's next win here, possibly. One more storm bolt, and that's it. There he goes. The hammer flies. And hammer time it is. GG does it again. Hawk with the 1 0 lead against Happy might be able to repeat a success. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a fluke. It's happening again. Northern Isles in is now officially human territory. And what a game by Hawk. Was that just flawless? Was there a single mistake? I don't think so. It was super sick. I, I don't, I, I mean, I thought he was over committing with the footman, but it seemed to be like the perfect amount of commitment by that shop. Uh, uh, the creep with the Mountain King was tremendous. That was incredible. I've never seen such an early level three Mountain King against this pit Lord timing. What a game from Hawk. Holy hell. Unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. However, that early game was really messed up weird, by yeah. Happy. Happy messed it up. Like, that creep route and that timing for the attack was just off. He crept the first green and then going to attack, hoping to see some creeps. 
But he was too late to do that. He killed like one peasant, had to fall back and keep creeping and get that level two. And again, this matchup is super volatile. The early game is oftentimes game deciding. You have to do big damage as the undead. And if that doesn't occur, normally the human is going to swim through as we saw here towards tier three, towards that tech. And get ready for Knights Gyros in the late game. The MK was super strong. As Carson mentioned, the items for Happy were really trash. Oh my god, that was just terrible all the way through. But even not considering the items, this was just not good enough in the early game here by Happy, which is so unusual to see. Northern Isles really figured out very well nowadays by Hawk. But now we go to Tidehunters, where <clears throat> two days ago we had an absolute beatdown by Happy, and it's unsurprising that this here is his map choice. Yeah, before we move on to Tide Hunters, we have a 10 euro donation to the prize pool by Pishna. Don't look at me, Neo. Take care of the pennies and pounds will take care of themselves. Guys, do the quests and help war free champion staff for free. Exactly. There's still quests up at the match arena. $4,210 at the moment. Would love to see that go high because the games are absolutely amazing. We have another donation. Thank you, Xenolan. 34 euro 20. Have a beer, guys. Epic casting. Much. Much love. That's a beer in Norway for the three of us. And Gary, thank you for the sub as we move on to map number two, man. It was already crazy that Hawk took two maps off of Happy on Friday. It is already crazy that he again takes Northern Isles. If he 2 owes him now, when was the last time Happy got 2 owed? Oh, man. Um, like 2008, probably? <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't, I Maybe don't in know. StarCraft the, somewhere? No. Yeah. Uh, the Robam tournament by Fly, I remember. Uh, oh, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing there. That was... That was where Naiden was playing in China. That was kind of fun. Yeah, the Robam. One belt, one road. <laughs> That's where the uh, the Twisted Meadows creep started. That was the first tournament where the, you, you did the pulled the rock column. That was sort of the beginning of the new era of high-level creeping. Was, was that tournament. Very cool. Guys, if you're tuning in late, this score is not an error. Hawk is again able to take Northern Isles off of the Emperor. Can he become the true usurper and kick Happy out twice in a row? He got match points twice in a row, but this is the map where Happy absolutely destroyed him, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see the series go full distance again. But maybe Hawk did his homework. He had Saturday off, of course, there was a lot of reason to celebrate on uh, Friday evening, but maybe he wants to improve on that Tide Hunters game where uh, he got creepjacked hard. Sock showed that maybe expanding on the bottom is an idea, but it's also not the greatest idea. What can human do against the happy harass on Tide Hunters? We're about to witness it is match points for Hawk. The usurper. I like that. Shout out to Bobby B and to <laughs> slash R slash Free Folk. What is your nice. what is your favorite Game of Thrones character, Carson? Uh, and I will judge you for that choice for the rest of your life. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, I'm not good with the names. Who was the uh, the uh, the dad of the Lannisters? What was his name again? I win. Yeah, that's that's the best character, of course. Yeah, he was yeah. really good. Yeah. Charles Dance, amazing actor. Incredible, incredible actor, incredible character. Yeah. I, I, good, again, I'm terrible with names, but yeah, he's a good character. That's a good choice. He was he was really good. Most of the cast, really good in Game of Thrones. I was always a big fan of Davos, but I mm -hmm. feel like in the last season, maybe in the last two seasons, they used him too much for comic relief. Yeah, but, yeah, he was kind of like the, not the foil. I'm not sure exactly what the technical term is, but yeah, he would definitely had just, he was like, almost just used for a certain purpose and not as like an actual character. I agree with that. A yeah. He did have that amazing scene with Melisandre, which was oof, so good. You killed her! Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> standard opening. Tetfine start. You know, compared to two days ago, the upside here is it can't get worse for Hawk here in the early game compared to two days ago. True. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that Accolade, but the Accolade's being dealt with by the Footman. The Accolade actually caught slipping for a second there, took a few extra hits. We'll see what the creep route is for Happy. Seems to be um, well thought out this time around. Take a little bit of damage on that Death Knight, but the creeping will be finished soon. And 
so claws for hawk so he's getting good items yet again happy uh gets a ring again oh no the it's again it's just it's just the warcraft gods i think they they want hawk to win they want hawk in the grand finals the ring cloak curse will we see it again happy by the way playing a different creep route before he just sniped the item went over to harass and hawk glad to see this left completely on his lonesome to freely creep up the natural and gonna be able to set up the expansion here quickly which is nice oh my god these items cloth the circuit all right boys here we go um <laughs> However, with this creep route, with going for such a fast expansion, getting up to level 3, not so easy. He's going to pull over the Murloc camp, get a bit more experience there, but it won't be quite enough to reach that level 3. Yeah, it'll be quite close. A couple of skeletons might seal the deal. Happy stops by the marketplace, finds a clause there. That could almost be something that Hawk could have incorporated in. I feel like if Hawk ran over there, he might have been able to beat Happy there, get another Claws. But now the harass begins. Skeleton summoned. Of course, another rod will be backpacked over by the first Fiend that's out. So there'll be plenty more Skeletons no where lumber. these came from. Oh, he doesn't no. have Lumber for the power build. What? Did you forget to make Peasants in the main? I think, uh... actually. I think he actually did, looking at it. It's just a couple of seconds where the Lumber Mill, or the power build, rather was missing, but, uh, yeah, especially for the tier 2 timing, this is going to be rough. Death Knight's quite low, though. Quite low indeed, and he's going to continue to take some damage. Luckily, he got those items, which are going to help, but he might not be able to make use of the second Rod of Necromancy with how low he is. He's got one more coil he should throw early. There it is. Maybe going to be able to get one more Peasant. So far, this is decent, though, for Happy. I mean, it's not, not the best, but he's gotten, I think, enough Peasant kills here. Yeah, it's... If one more falls, it will be four peasant kills, which is a player's force kind of normal. A little above average, it, maybe. Yeah. Three is kind of the standard. And there we go. There goes the fourth. The town hall finally finishes. More peasants coming in from the main. We have five peasants still left on the main on lumber. Six one coming in. But yeah, this tier two, not going to be too quick over here for Hawk this time. Is remembering peasants at least... For the most part, needs to keep building them right now. The Death Knight extremely low, but luckily for Happy, he crept for that aura already. And he's quite a ways into his level 2, so he's going to have level 3 much earlier than he did last game. And I, in my opinion, I think that's a very important part of this sort of mid-game. Before you're all in in the expansion, when you want to trade with the Footman, when you want to do a little bit more damage in that level 3. But the level 3 is first gained by Hawk, who gets boots and another circlet now, and is going to continue the pressure. The main, though, with the shop, Happy should be safe. Slaughterhouse cancel would be nice to have. Footman now coming in. But without defend, they're not going to be much of a threat. And defend is still far away from finishing as the tier 2 just started. Lumber still a bit low. Hawk going to be able to start that in a moment. Doesn't have a tower yet at the expo, by the way. No shop either. So if this Footman force gets pushed back across the map. Nice steal there with the coil. The peasants again might be in trouble and Happy sending in skeletons continuously. Finding more and more peasant kills. Yeah, Mantle of Intelligence now on the Archmage as well. The items are pretty good, but Death Knight's about to be level 3, just in time for the Lich to pop out. Lich actually gets a health potion and a potion of mana. Is this going to be... Maybe Happy realizes there's no Arcane Tower. He's going to do a huge investment into Tier 2 here, it seems. The Sig's a little bit late, though, for the statue for Happy, actually. But still, this seems to be, a, a, again, a big investment into Halls of the Dead. You're gonna have to keep a close eye here on when the tech is starting. Now could be the time for Happy. The Nova connects big. Ooh, that hit all five footies. Hawk perhaps inviting that a bit too much. Double potion on the DK gives him a lot of staying power even before the statues are here. Oh, and there's a oh. two coil. This is gonna be a town portal, maybe. No, it has to be used on the fiend. The shop is so close to being done. But the Archmage really can't go back in, and the Archmage is kind of the carry here with these auto attacks. So he can't really get damage in the Arcane Tower so late. Is that a mistake from Hawk? It must be, because he should have one. He should have his second and third tower on the way upgrading by now, but doesn't even have an Arcane Tower. I feel like this is just a macro error from Hawk, and this might be costing him the game. He's going to take so much damage here. Yeah, how different the map can look. We saw that two days ago already, where in Titanus he got absolutely demolished. Happy before... His favorite home turf seemed to be the frigid north of Northern Isles, but now seems to have uh, adopted a more tropical mindset on the 
Luscious uh, waves of Tidehunters. He seems to be faring very well. Mirja called in from the main. Oh, he gets us around the ledge. Nice, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's for the gallery more than anything. Yeah, he's at least going to buy a little bit of time for his Archmage to maybe get in range. The shop! Nice potion! My god, he actually had to sell an item there. He had to sell the mantle just to have the time to use the potion. One more coil left on the Death Knight. The statue is going to help fix that problem, though, and the towers will still be built. The Fiend even goes in to cancel the healing and the clarity on the Archmage. The Tier 2 is finished. Mountain King on the way, but Happy, of course, is going Tier 3 himself because he knows he doesn't need to stay any longer on Tier 2 to do damage to this expansion. And there's no tower, not a single one standing as the Undead is approaching Tier 3. That is not good. Holding on here over at the second base is going to be hard, especially if the Archmage dies! New heal potion needed, last second. Cutting it close over here. Sweaty spaghetti for Hawk in this game, too. Ooh, almost actually sneaks us around in on that Lich, but there could have been a Town Portal pass. Mountain King out, so... There's a couple of low heroes, no coils, a low fiend. Maybe Hawk could find some time with the Storm Bolt. The Arcane Tower now is being built, Tier 3 is being teched. The tier 3 almost done for Happy, and... He has yet to lose any units here, so Hawk's got to get something done with this early Mountain King, or this tier 3 time is going to be too strong. Coil, of course it's there. Frost Armor, of course it's there, but that's the last one for a while. Maybe one Fiend kill at last for Hawk. No Burrow yet. And that should be the first kill. All right, Hawk gets something done. Almost a deny there by the Lich, which would have made things uh, a bit more painful for Hawk, as if they're not already. Next storm bolt connecting should lead to a kill. Frost armor here, protecting these fiends nicely. MK now out of mana, but Hawk pushes back the force. That's the most important thing. Finally gets some breathing room and some time to make use of his uh, higher tech, hopefully later. Tier 3 halfway done. Second barracks now coming in, but no workshops yet. Not a single one even in production right now. No Only blacksmith. two lumber peasants in the main. No blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, he forgot about his power building it now, actually. That's a, again a macro error from Hawk. Oh, He's playing very well, mistake. but it's just, it's just all macro errors. Forgetting about the towers, forgetting about peasants early on, not having the lumber to power build the expansion, and now forgetting about the blacksmith. It's just simple errors, unforced errors. The Lich getting surrounded, maybe. Is there a coil? There's one coil. The orb. Oh my god, that was close to the Lich going down. Town Portal's gonna have to be passed here. Alright. Hawk buys himself a bit more time, but Hacky, Happy's gonna come back over here. You can certainly be sure of this one. Mana Potion on the DK, and now Happy's fully online. He's got the statues, he's got the orb, he's got Destroyer form, and possibly a third hero Pit Lord if he wants to go for that again, especially with the low amount of towers at the expansion and how just simply attackable they are by fiends. I think that'll be a great choice. Well, I think I think Hawk has to suicide some footmen here, or else Happy just goes straight to the expansion and cancels both workshops. I think he has to delay a bit longer. Happy's going towards the main base, though. So. So the workshops are going to get up. We're going to have fly machines. Tier 3 is done. Lumber's still pretty rough for Hawk. He can just afford his paladin, but oh, how nice it would be to have two knights in production right now. He doesn't even have the farms or the lumber to get it going, though. And you mentioned it, just macro eras stacking up here on map 2, one after the next. It started with not enough peasant production at the very early stages, and it continued to uh, be the case with not enough peasant production. And now Hawk has to hold on with only footies. Invo potion on the MK. Only hope for him here is to kill this DK. Stonebolt, kill the DK. Otherwise, he can't hold this. Staff out, buying some time. Is buying time when the Scroll of the Beast is running as well. Knights are now in production. Flying machines could be produced soon. Again, not a lot of farms for Hawk. He's got to build more farms to be able to go above upkeep. He's a Luckily for him, I guess, losing some footmen, but now the Mountain King exposed because of the Staff of Sanctuary, the Paladin coming out, but it might even be a waste of mana to try to save that Mountain King at this stage. He's gonna do his best here, but that Holy Light, not enough, and I think Happy's just gonna finish this one off now. Nova, Reign of Fire. Bye-bye, peasants. Knights are coming out. Alright. We have some damage now being added in, but there's Frost Armor against it. And there's no Stormbolt to combo with these knights, so Happy not really losing anything here. The level 2 aura is helping him as well. Hawk trying to scrape by with the very few force that he has, but it seems undoable. 
Mountain King's only level one, though. Mountain King will come back. There's two more knights on the way, and the shop is at the expansion, so we can heal up. He's going to have three heroes. He's not mining currently at the main base. What's Lumber look like? Actually decent. Mountain King is able to squeak by the Pit Lord and the Death Knight, and Hawk is healing up in the meantime. Two more knights are coming out to reinforce currently. It's starting to grow in numbers, and Happy has yet to really morph any destroyers. He's now going actually for an abomination behind this. But he shut down the mining completely in the main base. I think Hawk has to go for one final stand. Again, forgetting a farm. He has the power bullet at the expo. This has, hap has been happening over and over here this game. Tidehunters just doesn't seem to work out for Hawk. Next series they're going to play. I wouldn't be too surprised if this one gets banned. All right, here we go again. Trying to take out the DK, but instant counter surround with the Fiends. Focus on the pally, get saved with the staff, but perhaps only for a second could be taken out next. And remember, there's no altar left anymore. Stormbolt takes out one fiend. Finally, Hawk gets a kill again. But Happy's getting way more. I'm surprised to see Happy not morph any destroyers here, and especially surprised to see that abomination. He could just go into destroyers and completely kill his entire ground army, but he continues to try to kite. Four knights still on the field. The paladin seems like he will live through the staff. The mountain king also going to live by a potion for himself. Oh, the paladin. Oh, he's so close to being done with the staff, but might be focused down. Okay, the mountain king comes back in. So much damage from these knights, actually. But the abomination now, at least here to tank a bit for Happy. A great game so far by Happy. I think the one thing that he's kind of uh, mishandling in the late game here is not enough frost armor. It's been pretty rarely applied. Now we saw one coming in again. Happy gonna take a stance back just for a second. Could take out two or three valuable camps here easily in a matter of seconds. Hawk gonna appreciate this little breather. Trying to go for his own camp at the lab. Is that gonna result in a hero level up? Maybe MK2 for Bash is okay. But how different this is looking to Northernites where the MK gets to level 3 so quickly. A completely different story here now in this one. Giant Strength not going to be too bad. There's still a Town Portal for Hawk to get out. Might have to use it right now. Might be wise, but he's going to go in. He's got a lot of Knights, but not a real big amount of sustain to keep these heroes alive. Rain of Fire, land, staff out. That means no Bolt to secure kills any longer. A Knight is falling, and the Frost Armor might not be applied, but I think there's just enough units as Hawk Town Portal's away. and gets out with everything other than the one Knight, but now the Mount King might be a bit exposed in the main base, as well as that Knight that just gets staffed. That looks like two easy kills over here. Staff a good, you know, option to save units, but it does come with a downside. You just simply cannot move those units. You can't. You have to wait until they're fully healed to be able to control them again. But the MK will actually survive. The Knights are pushing back the Fiends once again. Takes oh. out a statue trying to get that surround here, but not quite able to. And Happy kiting this Knight army easily, I almost want to say. More more Knights are falling. Happy has 60 supply, has a big supply lead against the guy who needs the supply lead on the other hand. Let's find one more fiend. Worth noting there is no altar currently if one of these heroes does fall, but it seems to be knights for the focus fire. Okay, the paladin's starting to be focused now. Is there a staff? On cooldown, he actually used the staff from the archmage, not the paladin, and that paladin is dead for a long time. A couple more fiends taking some damage. The orb helps against that coil, but there's just not a lot of units. Now the altar is being filled after the paladin is dead. But Happy, even if he loses a couple of fiends here, still might have enough as he chain morphs the destroyers. And there's the nail in the coffin because there's no flying machines. Only now it seems like Hawk is just like, oh, I need that. And then builds it after. It's always reactionary. It's never preemptive. Now he's getting flying machines, but he's about to lose his main base yet again. And without that income, Hawk doesn't stand a chance here anymore. He's too far down in levels to be able to do this on one base. He needs the two base economy. He's been trying to hold on to that this whole game. Archmage might be falling. Coil finally used offensively. Archmage falls off his horse. And just like Superman, that comes to a gruesome end. All right, that was a mean joke, sorry. <laughs> but uh, that should be the end of game number two here. As Happy is going to tie up this series. Five, four, three hero levels. Hell yeah. He's in his element right now. Cool to see Hawk still, still trying to hold on here. I mean, it's definitely... Game over, it's 31 against 64 supply, and the altar is clogged by the Paladin currently. But it's cool to see he's uh, he's confident, he's going to try and hold on. He knows he's strong in the late game, because, you know, Knight Gyro with the Tri-Hero of Human could be very, very good, but 
It's got to take a little less damage in getting there. He's got to make... It's. It was simply... I mean, it wasn't as though Happy outplayed him the entire game. He kind of just made some simple mistakes that you could argue were forced errors because he's being pressured a lot. It's hard to macro under pressure when you're forced to micro, but... You know, definitely someone of his caliber could clean up this game and, and come back a lot stronger because Happy doesn't look unbeatable here. There's definitely some openings to get kills. Happy himself now looking for some more kills. Eyeing up that Archmage. She's looking pretty spicy with that 650 HP. Colonova, pretty dangerous here. There's only one Holy Light. And, um, yeah, I mean... We know this one is going to go, let's be real. This is going to be the entire army for Hawk falling. Probably thinking about the next map already, which is going to be Last Refuge, if I'm not mistaken. As everything is hitting the deck. Oh, look at that deny. Even the last second Dark Ritual coming in. As Hawk loses everything, finally calls for the GG. And we're going to move to a third deciding map. The Emperor strikes back! This is what we expected, but if we compare this Tide Hunters to Friday's Tide Hunters, this went a lot longer, and this time it wasn't uh, only Happy's dominance, it was rather Hawk inviting Happy to Game 3. Too many mistakes for a lower bracket final. That can't happen on this level. Unfortunately it did. But maybe he thought, okay, Tide Hunters is Happy's map anyway. Um, this is not the worst thing in the world if I'm losing this. It all came down to game, or it, it comes down to game three, and this is, I guess, what we all expected anyway. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There's going to be really hype here for map number three. Last Refuge, if it is, I might be wrong. Maybe it's Autumn Leaves? All right. Autumn um, Leaves, yeah, Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves, okay. Excuse me, I was wrong about that one. Um, bringing it down to the wire. Happy has been here many times before. He's been losing some games. He's been close to being eliminated out of a tournament. But normally, he always makes it. And now, the nerves are going to come into effect. Who's going to keep their cool better and going to come out on top here? There's definitely some improvements that Hawk has to make. Missing that power build in the early game, missing that peasant production, missing so many buildings as well. The blacksmith among other, among many others. That's just not allowed. You can't make those mistakes. Not against Happy. I might have to redo the lobby here. It was a little bit of a bug. But Hawk seems to be in, in a good mood still here. No, no big issues for him. I think... She knew that this would probably be a loss, and now it comes all down to Autumn Leaves. Oh, man. One map away from the big, big, big upset. Man, like, it's tough because it was hard to even, like, count the amount of mistakes that Hawk was making, but they were all in one area. It was just macro errors, and of course, this is a macro-based matchup from the human's perspective. It's all about, you know scraping by by getting as early timings as he possibly can so he can't make those errors but hopefully for his sake he's got uh he's able to clean it up that's all he has to do he doesn't have to do anything crazy he doesn't have to change his strategy entirely he doesn't need new creep routes he doesn't need to micro much better than he has been he's been microing pretty well just needs to clean up the sloppy mistakes that he was making on the macro side of things and then he would have had a totally different game on tidehunters so hopefully for hawk's sake he, he can clean it up Focus is waiting in the grand final. After this map, we get the War 3 Champions keynote by Floss two times daily, who's going to tell us everything that is going on at the War 3 Champions project and what is coming up with the War 3 Champions uh, project. And then we have the grand final of Focus versus X. Who's X? Is it Happy? Is it Hawk? Would be a rematch of the winner bracket final, of course. Man, when was the last tournament that Happy participated in but did not win in Europe? Or with European? That was not offline. In Europe? Oh boy. That's, uh, or that at least not while. offline. Yeah, because it would have been Anaheim if not. But uh, True. I don't remember past that. And that was actually the last time I think he played Focus, worth noting. And Focus <laughs> won in Anaheim. Yeah. Also at WGL when he won that tournament, who threw him down to the lower bracket? Focus. Hmm. 
His kryptonite always was back in the Gara Cup days as well. They had plenty of grand finals oh, versus each other. That was pretty sick indeed. Pretty sick is also this series, this rivalry throughout the entire weekend. It will come down to that one more map. Autumn leaves it is. No CH on happy side. There is a little bit of a switch up in the map uh, pool. And we will see how this resolves. Will it be happy again? He is the reigning War 3 champions champion. Or will it be Hawk to dethrone him entirely and not only throw him to the lower bracket, but out of the tournament? The decision in the lower bracket final now. Hawk with destiny in his hands. <laughs> Can he claim it? Or is he gonna let it slip? He can't let his macro slip like he did on map two. If he does, this is gonna be over quick and pretty clear. But he has gotten a taste of victory. He knows he can beat Happy, and I feel like... Maybe I'm just projecting here, but I think it's really important to get that win in against a nemesis. Just to make yourself believe that mm. you can do it. And I think he has that trust that believe in himself now that confidence yeah that is necessary yeah this is um definitely the most adversity happy's had to face in a tournament for a long time so hawk's got to be happy that he's the one delivering that but his you know his palms are probably pretty sweaty right now arms weak mom's spaghetti all that good stuff most likely but you know autumn leaves is it a good map for human Rima Dima? what do you think is it good is it good for the expansion um, I don't I think know. It's kind of, I think it's kind of average. It's not mm -hmm. really good. It's not really bad. You can certainly creep it, no problemo. But usually you're gonna lose some lasters to the coil, and the DK is gonna get some good XP from there, especially in the hands of Happy. Yeah. Um, I think Hawk normally goes rather to the outside expo rather than into the middle, which is gonna make holding on against the fiend pressure easier. But especially if you lose that taskmaster lasted off the cobalt, it's gonna be a bit rough. Hawk showed before how well he can deal with the DK if he's paying attention to it. You have to let the Archmage click away on the DK, put on those right clicks over and over, uh, task one footman with chasing him as well. It's so important right. to pressure that first hero from the undead right away. Look at this from Happy. He pulls the Berserker and the Trapper so far away. It almost helps Hawk for a second, but now it slows it down a little bit. It's still kind of cool. Yeah, I do like if, if Hawk goes for the, the corner expansion as opposed to the close expansion. I like that better, not only because it's safer later on, not only because you have some nice green camps close by you can creep safely, but also just because you can get better items. And he's got a circlet to start, but you can get a much nicer item than from the expansion actually he's going for right now. So I guess he disagrees. He wants the easier, faster creep than going for the, uh, the tough creep in the corner. If Happy steals two lasts here, this Archmere is going to be in Trouble City. Level 3 is hugely important for the AM. Ogre Magi must not be given away! But it That's is. Rough. That's rough. I think he could have maybe just started attacking the Death Knight there, forced him back a little bit. If he just got him a little further away, nice, uh, blasted on that Trapper at least. If he just got him a little bit further away, the Coil Range would have made it so he could get that last hit. So maybe a little sloppy from Hawk there, but definitely much more difficult than it seems to defend against this Death Knight Harass. So far, a couple of Peasants going down. Not a game-winning damage for Happy, but that last hit was very big. I feel like in the games he's Happy's been losing, he's been giving the human too much space, falling back to creep too much. Right now, look at the Archmage experience. He's so far away from level 3. If Hawk is just forced to hold back and uh, refrain from creeping and just stay at the expo, if the Lich comes out plus statues and the AM is only level 2, it's going to be so hard for Hawk to hold. Meaning, I think Happy should keep being aggressive right now. Yeah. Pick up a run of Necromancy and keep pressuring. Even if you don't kill anything, just force this AM to play defense. Yeah, interesting happy didn't go for backpack, I suppose, because the rush distance isn't that long on Autumn Leaves, especially towards this expansion. And yeah, Hawk, he would have to pretty much oh. go to his shop if he wanted to keep creeping. We're standing at the tavern. Is he thinking about a Dark Ranger? Ooh. That would be unusual, but can be impactful. Skeleton summon, peasants in trouble. This is looking like at least three more peasant kills over here. He could have done the bouncer, I feel, here with a better tower positioning and a footman towards the bottom of the expansion. I think, I don't know why people only do that on Northern Isles. Like, he could have definitely done that here. He has the Town Hall placement, but because he didn't, he's going to lose 
three, four peasants. Tower is going to get canceled, oh, but definitely tower. low. Yeah, but this is a Ooh. lot of damage now for Happy. Oof. Oh my god, the peasant did. That guy just saw life passing before his eyes. He almost died. That skelly just barely taken out in time. And that again slows down the expansion quite a bit. Lich coming. Slaughterhouse being made. And the DK is still sharking around looking for more damage. The Archmage abandoning his workers at the moment. Uh oh. There's a, one more charge of Rod and Necromancy as well. There's soon to be one more coil. The expansion is up, but the tech is going to be seriously delayed for Hawk. He's going to have to tech with probably six, seven peasants in the main base, which is decent, but he's going to lose a whole ton more at the expansion. The Archmage was trying to pressure the main base, but there's two fiends there to greet the single Archmage on level two. And you might be right, the Archmage is going to be stuck on level two for quite a while unless he gets this entire camp. And the peasants continue to go down. The tower continues to be canceled. The Archaeum might get up this time around, but I think Happy is still pleased with the amount of damage he's done. He's killed, what, eight peasants now? Maybe more? Happy certainly back on form here, looking like the dominant force that we know him to be. Archmage oh. now. Wait, did you steal that one? He oh got that. I think he got the whole camp, or at least he got two or three. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, look at the Lich's experience. My god. Nasty plays, nasty plays by Happy, showing up when he needs to here on map 3 in the decision. And Hawk finally establishes expansion, but boy, oh boy, was that painful. That Knight's so close to level 3 now. One more footman would do it, even if it's split amongst the two heroes, and Hawk's still trying to get that level 3. He's pretty close himself, but his tech is only now started. Like, Happy might just be able to keep pushing yet again. And Hawk, it's going to be so long. He needs another minute and a half, even longer, before he's got his Mountain King out. PK level 3 before AM. That is the short synopsis of this game. It is a complete disaster <laughs> for Hawk. Trying to hold on once again with the few forces that he has. If he takes out those skellies, he's going to get level 3. So that's finally where he's going to be able to find that level up chasing after a fiend. Well, that's a better kill, actually. Taking that fiend out will be accomplished, I believe. But again, it comes at a price. Everything comes at a price. Happy checking up those prices, despite his communist origins. He's going to be able to uh, kill a lot of the footmen and continue the pressure. The expansion's not even fully mining currently. Level 2 water elemental at last, but the statue was just here perfectly in time to heal up those footmen to give more mana to heal up the death lane. It's just always perfectly on time. The statue takes a little bit of damage, but... The aura is going to help with that, and more peasants fall. The tier 2 about to be finished. It'll be another minute before the Mountain King is out, but the Archmage out of nowhere didn't even see it goes down to a Coil Nova. And GG is called, and Happy's in the Grand Finals yet again. That was just wrath for what Hawk did to him on Friday and on map 1. Holy moly, that was a map adjustment that Happy played so well. And that's game. That's how quick you can lose a series against Happy. You lose the momentum on map 2, maybe uh, lose your steam a little bit, and if you don't play your A-plus with a star game, games look like this. This was more like the Monday's ESL Cup. Yep. Kudos to Hawk to play it so good Friday and on map 1 here on Northern Isles. But if Happy's in shape, it's rough. And if you are not in shape, then it's almost impossible but that means that mr carson is getting his grand final in happy versus focus in a best of five that's what i wanted man when i looked at this grid initially i was like it's got to be it i know it's going to be happy and it's got to be an orc to test him i don't think anyone else i don't think the top night elves are going to test him and that's already been proven defeating the liot quite easily actually the humans didn't challenge him Undeads don't tend to challenge him and Mir being the best of that. So it's got to be an orc and focus is uh, looking like the best challenger maybe in the world currently. is Maybe except for Lin, but I mean, focus is playing well in this tournament. Maybe this is yeah. the best test that Happy could possibly have currently. Oh man, I'm looking so much forward to this. It feels like back in the day in the Jera Cups when Happy was rising after coming back from StarCraft and it was just every week we got this best of five. 
then we had no hosting solutions anymore and we had to wait for this to happen again. This was a great run by Happy through the lower bracket, but it was also an amazing run by Focus through the winner bracket, where he already defeated people like Mikhail, Sock, Lawlight, and Hawk, but he wasn't tested by the very best yet. It's either gonna be the same old champ in Happy, or it's gonna be a new one in Focus. It's of course a little late in Korea, but we wanna give Happy the time after uh, three maps in a row to take some time. We will have the keynote with Floss two times daily about the Project War 3 champions, about the current state, about the future, and of course time for you to spread some love about this very project here. We're gonna set this up, we're gonna call Flossy, then we'll talk a bit, and then we have the grand final between Focus and Happy. That's what everybody's waiting for, so you don't go anywhere, spread the word, and we'll see each other in just a couple of minutes.